Well, thank you, Jamie. And I must say that uh, you're absolutely right that the world today is so interdependent that we have to change the way we think. Um, if one looks at something like, uh, let's say, climate change or the current pandemic, you realize that these transnational interdependencies are not problems that any one country can solve by itself. Um, in fact, we have to rethink the way we consider power. Power, we often think in competitive terms, power over others. But there are some problems rising out of interdependence where you can only solve them if you think of power with others. So for example, the US or Europe or China uh, cannot solve the climate problem they're gonna suffer from acting alone. They can only solve it if they act with each other. And that goes for all nations. I just use those as simple examples. Along with that goes the point that we're gonna have to redefine the way we think about what we call our national interest. Presidents, of course, have to defend a national interest because uh, they're elected as trustees for the people who elect them. But as I try to argue in a new book, which I've just written, uh, Do Morals Matter? Presidents and Foreign Policy from FDR to Trump. The key question is not whether a president says, I will defend the national interest. It's the moral question is, how does he or she define the national interest. And you can either define it narrowly, where it's yours alone, I win, you lose, or you can define it broadly for a long-term perspective in which we both win. In that sense, I argue that if you look back on American foreign policy and you take the example of something like the Marshall Plan, uh, the Marshall Plan, the Americans gave away about 2% of their gross domestic product to Europe. That was out of American self-interest, but was also in European self-interest. So it's possible to think of the national interest in ways which recognize this new interdependence. Uh, if you bring that back then to what I mentioned about the current COVID crisis, uh, instead of vaccine nationalism, and this view that everybody is going to look out just in the cells. I wish that the United States and other countries would declare that they are going to reserve a certain proportion of the vaccines which are produced within their borders for other countries, particularly poor countries, which do not uh, have health capacity or health systems with full capacity. And you might say, well, why would anybody exercise this sort of charity? The answer is it's not just charity, it's also a reaction to interdependence. The northern half of the globe is not going to be safe from pandemics or from COVID if there's a reservoir of such viruses in the southern half of the globe. So if we think about interdependence, we can realize that it should lead us to rethink power and rethink how we define our national interests. And that's what I try to argue in this book I mentioned, Do Morals Matter? Yes, they do, and more than ever in a world which is marked by this growing interdependence. So thanks for your attention, and thanks for your initiative in helping to bring us together on this.